If you give that up, anything you four say will be used against you in the court of law. You four have the rights to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you four in the station at Houston, Texas. All right. All four of you get in the helicopter. You four will be flying to the Harris County Courthouse in downtown Houston, Texas to attend trials. The flight will take a few hours. Ouch. Hey. What are Stop you doing? Stop pulling me right now. Stop. It hurts so Let much. Let me go right now. Ouch, hey, stop dragging us, please stop let us dragging go. us, please stop dragging we us. We didn't do anything wrong. All right, Oscar. Have a great day at school. Okay, Dad. Hello? Are you Oscar Rodriguez? Um, yes. Is there a problem? You're coming with me. Oscar Rodriguez, you're under arrest. Hold on. Are you arresting our son? What did he do? And you're not the Vion City Police. Hello? Are you Oscar's parents? Um, yes. What did our son do? We caught your son bullying, harassing and snitching on one of his classmates named Justine Quinscutter multiple times. He did this at school, at the juvenile hall and even broke into Justine's house while wearing a Justine disguise and broke a hole in the wall. As a result, she was beaten up so painfully. And he even threw the timeout chair and blamed it on Justine. Wait. We know her. We saw on her birthday punishment day that her parents made an embarrassing video out of her on public. We felt really bad for Justine. As for Oscar, he didn't care about Justine when he saw the video, as he laughed so hard to the ground after seeing that embarrassing video. We grounded him and sent him to the juvenile detention center for punishment, but it worsened his behavior. What? Oscar Rodriguez. You did what this entire time. How could you do this? There is literally no fixing you. We are very sorry we raised you so poorly. I cannot believe you would get Justine in trouble and made her life a living hell. Oscar. We did not raise you this way. Alright. Now that we got everything we need to know. Where is our son going to? Your son is going to Houston, Texas, where he will be attending court with his teacher and principal. Oscar, you will tell us where Mr. Butler's class is. Okay. Mr. Butler's class is at the first grade hallway, in the left side of the hall. He is at room 103. Okay. That's all we need to know. All right. Me, my wife Ashley, and my two sons will pack our belongings and order our plane ticket for Houston, Texas. Thanks for telling us about this. You're welcome. Where is Annabelle, Justin and Oscar at? Oh wait. I think I know what is going on. I think Justin and Annabelle are up to something to Oscar and they are making Oscar be late to class. Who is banging on my door so loudly? I think it has to be either Justin, Oscar and Annabelle, Oscar would never be late to school. Ever. Or it's someone who wants to see me very importantly. Whoever you are. You can come in. Hello. Are you Mr. Butler? Justine's teacher. Um, yes. Is there a problem, sir? You're coming with me. Hey. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me go because I have a class to teach. Oh, uh, really? Well, your class has already ended. Mr. Butler, you are under arrest for bullying and harassing Justine Scudder. I saw videos of you bullying your student, called Justine a tattletale after Oscar threw your timeout chair at the wall, recorded Justine's temper tantrum and being a strict teacher. What? Justin is a very bad student of mine. She should be the one to be arrested. Because she stole my car and drove really far away from. Wait a minute, you're not the Vion City Police. Who are you and where are you from? We are the Shadow Ops Task Force Police from Houston, Texas. And I do not care about what she did. It could be because of her abusive parents and how they raised her. You are in a lot of trouble. I saw you upload a temper tantrum video of Justin on Facebook. 
and even banned her from going out to recess after her suspension. You even allowed Justine's dad to follow her to school and allowed her dad to bully her in class. You know what? I am sending you to Houston, Texas, and if you are wondering where your student Oscar is at, he is at the helicopter outside of the school. While we arrest you and the principal. Wait. You arrested my student Oscar? You cannot do this to him. He is one of my favorite students in the class. No he's not. He is nothing but a criminal, a bully, a snitch and a troublemaker. You have the rights to remain silent. If you give up the rights to remain silent anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. And you have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at the station. Now, get in my helicopter right now while we arrest the principal of the elementary school. The flight to Houston, Texas will take a few hours. Hey, get your hands off of me right now. I swear I didn't do anything. All right. I am almost finished with my paperwork. Once I finally complete it, I am going to get lunch at the cafeteria. What was that? That sounded like Justine Scudder. I had a feeling that she got into trouble with her classmate named Oscar or Mr. Butler, or it might be someone that needs to talk to me so urgently. I am going to answer the door. Hello. Are you Principal Salamo? Justin's former principal. Um, yes. Is there a problem? You're coming with me. You're under arrest. Wait. What did I do? And besides, you are not the Vyond City Police. Where are you from? I am a Shadow Ops Police Officer from Houston, Texas. And you're under arrest for allowing and supporting child abuse at your school, abuse of power and bullying your student named Justin Quinn Scudder. I saw on Justin prank calls 911 in school slash punishment day that you called Justin's parents to give her a punishment day. Really? But Justine is the worst student in my school. She blew up my school so many times, assaulted her teacher and classmate and even prank call 911 on me having a heart attack. She deserves to have a punishment day and I support and allow child abuse, because child abuse is a good thing and make the world a better place and teaches kids a lesson not to be bad people. Do not give us that excuse. You should realize that punishment day is a child abuse. Her parents should realize that as well. And child abuse doesn't make the world a better place. It makes the world a terrible place and worsens people's behavior. You are now in hot water for what you did. I also heard that you gave Justin long after school detentions and banged her from recess multiple times. You are coming with me to the helicopter in Houston, Texas. The flight will take a few hours, you have the right to remain silent, if you give that up, anything you say will be used against you at the court of law, and you have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you once you arrived at the station. Come with me right now. Hey. Let me go. I haven't finished my paperwork yet. Hey, Ouch. You're hurting me. Let me go. Please let me go. I haven't finished my paperwork yet. Justin and Annabelle. Get your asses downstairs right now. Um, what is it, Dad? And why are you still angry at us? Like, did we even do anything wrong? We are still very furious at you both for trying to escape from us three weeks ago to move in with Ted and Camila back in December thinking you would escape this family. You both should realize that you, Justin and Annabelle are stuck living this horrible life being abused for all the crimes you did with Annabelle in the past since 2022. That's right. Justin you should be living a horrible life forever with Annabelle for what you did. Also, no matter how hard you try to escape from me, we will always come back. Not even the stupid Assassin's Task Force Agency is enough to stop us guys. As a result, we haven't given you enough suffering. You know what? Today is you and Annabelle's 10th punishment day. 
no 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 please no more punishment days we suffered more than what we could we are very sorry for what we did too freaking bad you're getting your 10th punishment day and that is final i will now tie you both up for the first punishment first punishment both of you getting your hair cut off with a chainsaw. Alice, I need you to get the chainsaw from the garage. Got it, Sonny. All right, Sonny. I got the motherfucking chainsaw. All right, Justin. You will be the first one to get your hair cut off since you're the one who started the crime spree. Prepare to meet my chainsaw, you spoiled brat. Wait. What for? And you're not the Beyond City Police. Where are you cops from? We are the Shadow Ops Police from Houston, Texas. Sonny and Alice Scudder. You both are under arrest for child abuse, child neglect and reckless endangerment. We saw on multiple videos that you were beating up Justin multiple times because of no snow in your area. You also gave nine punishment days to Justin and Annabelle, putting your daughters out in the snowstorm in summer clothes, brutally beating and injuring Justine, and even worse. You paralyzed Justine at the hotel to the point where she can't even move. What the hell is wrong with you? No. You were not supposed to arrest us. The police said Justine should be living horrible life abused for all the crap she has caused in the past, not to mention that she'd kill us in a hotel, blowing up caramel ice cream with a bomb, including McDonald's and her school. Brandt called 911 on her principal and burning down her juvenile detention. She even destroyed our house and this isn't the first time she did that, but she did it a second time. So in this case, it is okay to abuse her. Oh really? We don't care about what she did. Sonny. It could be because of how you abused her and how poorly you raised her. I am now done listening to you and your wife Alice. I used to work with you guys, until I quit being a cop for Vion City since the judge allowed you guys to child abuse your daughters. Now, I work for the Shadow Ops Police now, taking on criminals like you. Not only that, but you even tried to cut Justine's hair with a chainsaw while attempting to give your daughters their 10th punishment day. We are lucky we came here in time to stop you people from doing any more harm. And considering that you both have high criminal records. The judge might have something planned for both of you. That's right and according to your criminal records, you both will lose your daughters permanently. As of today, Justine and Annabelle Scudder will be legally removed from the family. You both have the right to remain silent if you give up the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You both have the rights to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at the station. Oh, and we also arrested every officer and the judge who allowed you guys to abuse and punish your daughters. What? You gotta be kidding me. So you sent all these so-called police officers to save Justin and Annabelle? Who sent you here to arrest us? Silence. And that is actually none of your business. Now, we're going to the helicopter. You will be coming with us to Houston, Texas for court. And this is the last time you will ever see your daughters. Come with us, right, now. Hey, let us go this instant. Justin should be living this life for all the trouble she's caused. Let us go. This isn't over yet. Are you both okay? Um, yes. We are fine. But who are you guys and how did you find us? Oh. We are the Shadow Ops Task Force Police from Houston, Texas. We got a call from a hotel manager and his brother that you were being abused by your insane and psychopathic parents. Wait. Don't you mean? That's right, Ted who is the hotel manager's brother who you decided to live with along with his wife Camilla and their three kids. They called us about the judge and the four corrupted and wanted officers who allowed your insane and red parents to abuse you and later to your sister Annabelle. Wait. 
So my new family called you about our red and evil parents here to save us from them? Wow!